on today's show, we are going on a tour of Fort Erie. I'm going to show you all my favorite places. Let's do this. Welcome to the Jacob Dome Show. Hello, welcome to the Jacob Dome Show. I'm Jake. He's Josh. And today we are going for a drive all around Fort Erie. Fort Erie, it's, a, it's my favorite town in southern Ontario. Had some good history, and uh, I've had good history in Fort Erie as well. You know, I, I don't know if he has, but I'm pretty sure he has. Absolutely. When did you start living in this town, Jake? When did we start living? When did you start living in this town? Yeah, when I was born. Man. Yeah, where were you born? I was born in Fort Erie. Yeah, Douglas Memorial Hospital. Yeah, but I wish I was born in 1980 in Buffalo. I know, but. It's not. It's okay though, right? Yeah, I'm just saying. I would have. I would have felt more satisfied. <laughs> mm -hmm. 1995. I remember, Jake. Yeah. I remember when you were born. That's pretty late, man. Yeah, but I remember when I was a little kid. You came really early. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Josh. I think about this. If I was your seven-year older brother, I would have made your childhood and early teenagehood even more interesting. Mm -hmm. I would have taken you on some adventures with some of my friends, and then in return, you'd taken me to see on see your friends. In return, return you'd return the favor for me. It's true. Just think about it, man. I think I think I know who one of my friends would have been. Ooh. It probably would have been Mark Emont because we'd be a year apart. See the sign? Joseph no, Street. it's Joseph. I get it. This okay. is where gonna... our family started. Okay, we're gonna have to find the house though. Do you know what the number is, Jake? Oh, 76 or something. No, close. 71. 71. It's this red house right here. It's the same look? Nope. They completely changed it after we moved. Oh, geez. So there it is. Oh, man. 71 Joseph Street. That's mm -hmm. where we had our first family -like house. That was our first family house. Oh yeah. You want me to tell you about that house? Yeah, go ahead. No. Give it you were too young. So it was a great little neighborhood to grow up in. Yep. So we had, you know, we had a really big living room, really big kitchen. Our bedroom wasn't very big, but we shared it. Uh-huh. And I enjoyed living in this neighborhood a lot when I was younger. We, I had some great times. I'll actually show you my, uh, my best friend's house. Like I could just walk down the road. It's right okay. here. See this white house, Jay? I see the white house. That's Chris Hodges' house. Shout out for the Hodges. Great, Chris Hodges. Right there. Good guy right here. The white one right there. Oh, right here. My bad. Yeah, right there. I, I spent a lot of time over there. Yeah. Even though he had his even though he had his bedroom painted Miami Dolphins colors. Okay. He's a Miami Chris. Dolphins fan. Uh, Hold boo. Against him. Uh, boo is right. Boo! No Florida teams. That's right. New York teams only. That's right. Got it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so then but then Jake, if you look, this is old the old fort. Oh yeah. So like we were right by Oh yeah, we were. A lot of good stuff. Actually, it's funny, Jake, because like they haven't really cut any of this this grass or anything because of the COVID. Yeah, and it's, it's a lot different than when I was a kid. Oh yeah. There used to be a little park over here with a um, a big big slide that I used to be scared of because I was a scaredy cat. Oh. <laughs> uh, and there were swings. There's a little amphitheater down there. Amphitheater. And, and they really, to be honest with you, Jake, it's 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 seen better days. Um, yeah. But I had a lot of memories there. A lot of parties in the barracks over there. Barracks, wow. Yeah, and this is all different. So this front to yeah. uh, the old fort, yeah. this didn't look like this when I was growing up. Yeah, what did it look like in 1998, 1999? Mm -hmm. uh, way different. I'll see if I can get it. We'll put a photo uh, in the video. Okay, okay sure. We can find one, okay? Okay, 98, 99. Because it used to be a big circle driveway right here in the front. Yeah, why'd they take that It was that really out? cool. I liked it more. Why'd they do that? Why, why would they I do don't that? know. Oh, they got to stop making changes, man. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Jacob Doan. We're here at the Niagara River. Right across there is Buffalo, New York. And over there, that's where my favorite thing, one of my favorite things is the Peace Bridge. And uh, that's the bridge you have to take in order to cross the bridge into New York State. And uh, the bridge was built in 1927. And it's an international bridge connected to the Canada and USA. And uh, it's connected to Fort Erie and Buffalo. And uh, one, of, one of the things that I prefer is the old uh, toll booths, inspection booths, the old fashioned ones, you know? Whatever they looked like in 98, 99, 2000, etc. And yeah, I prefer it. It's because I'm an old soul. And it feels good to live in the past. Yeah. Right nowadays, you need a passport or a nexus to cross the border. I don't know what was required in 98, 99, 2000. I can't remember. I think it was just a birth certificate or something. Isn't that what was required in 98 in the millennium? Yeah, I thought so. See, I'm trying to remember everything. That's why I'm stuck in the past. And that's it. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's a good day. You don't have to talk to you, you can just like smile and laugh. And just... <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what was that for? <laughs> Why are you pushing me? <laughs> Two and a half four, yeah. man. We good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Glad we got this out of the way. So, over here, Jake, this is where we were just were. Do you remember the Friendship Festival? You bet I do, Josh. You, you bet. You know very well, I remember. It, it was the coolest thing to do in it, as a kid in the summer. It would be next week normally. Yeah, but uh, guess what? Why? Oh, the coronavirus made it. Was caught with the cause for it to be canceled. Yeah, I don't know if it was going on anymore, Jake. It's not like it used to be. Why not? They don't do it here anymore. I, there's a number of reasons. Such as? Money, I mean, um, budget. Oh. There's a couple other things. Hey. But when we were kids, like, what do we do? We stop. Yep. Before or after the line? Oh, yes. Uh, before the uh, before. If, before the line. What about Jake? Uh, remember, talk about your, your driving experiences. Well, yeah, my driving experience, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel too nervous at all. Eh, I had, I had somehow some confidence. All I just, all I had to do is think about how, just think about how we're supposed to drive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't drive like it's Grand Theft Auto, Mafia, driver. Well, Jake, you want to talk about this road? Oh, yeah. This is like the main artery of Fort Erie? Yeah, the main now, artery. Now, what you want to show over there, Jake? Oh, yeah. What's not over there anymore? Oh, we, we don't have the County Fair Mall. Or the Tim Hortons drive through Oh, boo-hoo. That was my favorite part. You learned how to drive. You learned how to drive in that mall parking lot. Yeah. So did I. Too bad. Too bad we couldn't go inside the mall because it was closed. Nah, that's too bad. All right, keep showing some B-roll here, Jake. Okay. Okay. What other places do you like on this road, Jake? Well, I do like Canadian Tire. And I like that little Garrison Village shopping center. And I like the fact that we have some fast food restaurants. Uh, one, two, three of them. All right, Jake, where is this? This is McDonald's. Do you like this McDonald's? I do. I've, I've been here loads of times. Uh, we were going to go there, Jake, but the line is very long. Crap. We can't. So we can't go there. Oh, jeez. With the coronavirus, Jake, there's just so many things. Yeah, yeah. There's just so many things closed that the things that are open are really busy. Yeah, you bet. Well, that's what we got to do. We had a record low cases for Ontario yesterday. Oh, for God, for crying out loud. We're getting there, Jake. Niagara didn't get stage two yet, but I think we'll get it next week now. We better, because it's getting out of hand. I know. We miss everybody and everything, right? Yeah. I think, I think we should become vigilantes. We're not going to become vigilantes, Jacob. We can put everyone put everyone to submission no that's not how we go right we're nice people right right we're good to everybody yeah we're not mean right oh right 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 
Oh, if, if we were like that, oh, I'll never get my own group of older friends if I'm going to be like that. That's <laughs> true. Oh, gee, so we better not do it that way. I also think you need a haircut, Jake. You should show everybody your hair. Sorry, guys, but we can't do it. I Look I, at that hair. Oh, no, I can't stand it. It's pretty long, huh? Look at that. Look at that oh, flow. Jeez. Look at that flow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, I'm waiting for, sorry. My, waiting for my barber shop to open. Jakey, what? Now you got to show everybody the one thing on the right here that's pretty important. Oh, yes. My my place I work, hardware. Yeah, show by everybody right there. That's, that's for Fort Erie Rona, which previously was a Fort Erie Timber Mart. And then, then it was... Before that, it was the Fort Erie Do It Center, which I believe that it was called in 98, 99, or millennium year two? Yep. 2001, maybe? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying real hard to remember everything from that long ago. Okay, done the mover. Yeah, talk about done the mover, Jake. Yeah, it's a, it's a bus service. It's a and school bus service. What did they do for you? They, uh, they pick me up so I don't have to ride a big school bus. How many years did you get that? A lot, man. All of your elementary and high school days. Who was your bus driver? Uh, let's see. Well, there was two of them. Uh, Put on yourself. There was two of them. Uh, one's name was Betty Noel. The other one was Al Allringer. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fans of motorsports and stuff. They're both motorsport fans. So shout out to Dun the Mover. They're great people and they were very good to our family over the yep. years. Thanks Dun the Mover for your services. Absolutely. I, I appreciate every every part of it. Every part of it I appreciate. Thank you. Okay, very good. The Jacob Don't Show is now on YouTube. For those of you that are from Fort Erie, Port Colborne, Buffalo, any of the high school graduates from the 90s, 80s, 70s, 2000s, please, please follow it. Please subscribe. Make sure you like that video too. Yeah, don't overlook. Big mistake. Well, here we are at Ferndale Park. This was the YMCA campsite. It's right here, as you can see. There's a, looks quite a bit different today as it was back in the day. My brother was a counselor, by the way. He was one of the counselors. <laughs> a lot of kids loved him. A lot of kids loved him. And uh, I, I, I've made friends with some of the other counselors too. Um, my good friend, Jared Ravutz. Thank you for making that intro for me, Jared. It means a lot. And I've also made friends with Andrew Cologne, uh, DJ Holmes, obviously. A whole bunch of them. Uh, Blake Benner. Yeah, and uh, we just—I've always hung around with these. With the, I've always hung around with the counselors. Yep. What's different about the area, Jake? Let's walk and show. Yeah. Well, uh, as you can see, it looks quite. Di it looks pretty different to me. Uh, there aren't that many trees. Well, there were like three different trees that two, three different groups that sat. Let's see, what, what were the three groups? Uh, discoverers, explorers, and acer, aces? Yeah, I was an ace. I was an ace camper. And right there, that's a playground. It used to be an old playground, right? Yeah. And there wasn't there a wading pool here or something? Something used to be a wading pool? Oh, way back in the day, yeah. Yeah, and then now there's a splash pad. Did you like uh, YMCA day camp? Yeah, it was pretty cool. What was your favorite time, time during camp? Oh, I, that's a good question. I can't think of one, man. Do you have one? No, I, I have a lot, but this is about you, bro. Um, I can't think of one, man. Well, all I could think of is just hanging around with the counselors. Yeah. Hanging out with the adults, that's that's the whole point of being an old soul. <laughs> well, I wasn't even aware of it back then. All right. Yeah. All right. You ready? Keep going? Yeah. All right. Well, are you ready? Anything else you want to talk about, Ferndale Park? Yeah. Well, uh, you have you, you you weren't just here for camp, right? You've been here for other... Yeah, I used to rap and play soccer here. Yeah, soccer. Well, I'm not a big fan of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I understand. Yeah, neither is my dad. I know. 
All right, ready to go to our next place? Yes. All right, here we go. That's the end of part one. Part two will be coming soon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram at Jacob Don't Show.